Greetings, my friend. This is Gilles Mancillon. I wanted to come and wish you a wonderful day. For today is the day of St. Francis of Assisi, the, the St. Patron of children and, and, and um, an animal. We send greetings to him. And so it's a good friend. And I wanted to talk about a few ideas. The first one is that we need to activate the light within our DNA and our heart. It is very important to, 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 to recognize ourselves as light. Um, personally, I remove some resistance from the resistance. I saw that yesterday, a resistance to joy, a resistance to happiness, a resistance to abundance, a resistance to, to freedom. And, and so, so my soul is, I know my soul is really, I'm at the point of, a point where I'm going to really be able to change everything in, in, my, in my other life. And so there is no magic potion. It's like you can use plants and all kinds of things to assist you, but it does not. Uh, it does not. Um, it does not uh, make up for for inner work. And the inner work is essential. We have to focus on you rather than the other people on the, our stage. For there is a great deal of fascination with this uh, tragic drama of the Earth plane, and people want to understand it. And so it is very much understandable. But um, understanding that the understanding is that um, we, we do need to focus on ourselves in order to be in a creator shoe, in our a sovereign self. Because by the end of the decade, there will be no more 3D, there will be no more war, there will be no more corruption. We, we've lost a lot of battle against our shadow self, um, but now it is the time where we actually let it go. And uh, But we, as we move into our creator presence, we're going to be able to be empowered to, so that we can set it up. We don't need to wait any, for anything, but the Archangel Michael recommended that we, we prepare ourselves for within six months that our life be in complete peace, in complete abundance and complete harmony. But in order to do that, you want to you be in the presence now. And every day to disengage from all kinds of uh, of things that are no longer necessary. Um, for for there is a, for everything that's happening in the earth is a distraction from what's going on within, and so. Um, so, so it is. Uh, it is. Uh, we have to be programmed for for to 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 decipher those things that are no longer necessary. Sometimes it's, we are removed from our comfort zone. It's like uh, when, you stop, uh, when you stop a habit uh, that you cannot take with you as a self-master, uh, then, then you, um, you move into a discomfort, but it is necessary for the, high, it is for the highest good. And so we need to accept certain discomfort which are no longer aligned with our life in the higher planes, in the higher dimension. And for that, we need to balance out our chakra energies. Uh, the chakras, they all have a mind of their own. Eh? So we need to balance them out and uh, continue to, to, to cultivate the sense of self, the sense of, to solidify your aura, to feel your aura, to feel your energy, to invite the, the angels in your in your aura, and to be well grounded, the physical body has to be really well grounded in the earth, and to continue to cultivate this connection to the earth, it's like on the bottom of your feet, you see that there is roots that reach to the bottom of the earth, to the center of the earth, and um, so I just want, I want to talk about walk-ins, also somebody asked me about the Walk-ins are what we call walk-ins are different. Uh, it's like a soul swap. So there's negative walk-ins. There are human beings that have uh, have made soul connection or affiliation to 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 dark extraterrestrial, and sometimes the soul is being captured by those extraterrestrial, and a, a dark extraterrestrial is taking the control of the body. But there is also it's a positive walk-ins with the federation. It is when a soul is completely overwhelmed and completely incapable of sharing, dealing the the situation of their life. So a higher part of the, of the person, a higher self, uh, comes down and, and, and move into the body, which usually takes a few months to resolve all of the physical problem for an advanced soul to, to and then uh, then move on to, to serve the light. So, But the, the walk-ins, the, the galactic walk-ins, have uh, their own telepathic communication channel, network, and those beings will, are really ready for ascension. They're here in assistance. I also wanted to say that uh, the energy we radiate, radiate the, the energy that we communicate, radiate, will uh, be determinant in the in, in, in the new age, in what is coming. And either we're going to navigate through that with through grace and ease, or through chaos and cataclysm. It's going to be a lot of cataclysm, and um, we need to shake off all the, the animal nature. But the, nothing. If we move into this this state of grace, state of grace and ease, we won't be affected. Um, 
uh, because we, we've all suffered karmic, uh, we all suffered traumatic uh, experiences where we lost it all, like an Atlantis and many other times we, because of war, because of, uh, because of uh, Earth's uh, change, because of that. So, so we, need to, we need to find peace with that and to know that this time is different. We're going to actually uh, create this... Um, this new world, but for now, the society that we live in is based on greed, cupidity, brutality, power, uh, violence, and all of that needs to be exposed. That's why there is so much difficulty and karma that needs to be um, exposed from this society. Um, but for that, we need to, this major shift. We need to face the, all of our memories. Um, um, so this uh, understanding the cosmic, the, the 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 earth is a living being. Sometimes there is con all continent that sinks into the sea. Sometimes there is a continent that rises because there's been too much pollution and and and, and negative energy. And so, uh, so uh, and then when it re-emerges, it is purified. It is. Uh, is elevated and the coastal region may change and it's always been like this so do not um, just follow your intuition you want to activate this light so we can become the homo luminous the, the, the human light the light body we want to become you homo galacticus the galactic human homo universalist the universal being I know you are, we already have that within ourselves. There, there will come a, a point in time when the earth will be completely at peace and when all this karma will be exposed. It's all about karma. It's all about expurging all of the negative patterns. The earth can no longer deal with that. And so, um, but it doesn't have to affect us if we move into this, um, in this, to this perfect moment of the present and, and accept the love of the presence and the, the light and the wisdom. For you know, we need to ascend our consciousness, but we also need to to allow our higher self to descend. There is a dissension that is going on in order to create this merging. And uh, for we had many many lives uh, in, on the earth, but also on the higher planes, and and those are soul fragments. So so those, we need to reconnect to all those soul fragments. It will be great assistance to to connect to to soul fragment from the seven, eight, nine, ten dimension or above or higher dimension in celestial realm. Or we have those, we have all of. Uh, fifth, sixth, seventh dimension, we have all those fragments, but we also have many fragments on the earth of all the past life that we explored everything. We were like the dark, the light, uh, the, the high, the low, the rich, the poor, the, the, we tried every death, we tried everything. So we need to, to make peace with all of that as we make peace with all of those soul fragments that we even if we do not know them, they will come slowly but surely, and we assist each other in balancing out um, the forgiveness. Then it's much easier to forgive others because they, what they're doing now that we don't like is something we've done in the past that we haven't necessarily healed or made peace with. So, so we need to regather all of our soul fragment, of our heart, of our God self fragment as well. And so, uh, also wanted to say in the in the, in the short dimension, it's very uh, uh, we. Um, we we uh, we were very critical. It's like when you see someone that really dress differently or have a completely different life path. We, we have a tendency to make fun of that. But now it's like if you can if you if you if you catch yourself or if you see that something, just realize it is a divine child of God. It is a soul that's exploring something, and and then you recognize the light within themselves, the divinity within themselves. You're doing a favor, a service to them because they have forgotten this divinity. So the the, the higher spirit is recording that you recognize that and it is an act of kindness it is an act of respect of tolerance that there are so many we need to live in the tolerance of all beliefs all all past as long as they do no harm all the um, cultural uh, all culture or religion everybody has to be able to live the, their faith and their life and everything the way they choose uh, the, the, as long as there is no uh, doing harm or trying to impose their will upon others that's the main thing it's like when people say well I, yeah but everybody has to do like me no it's not just try we focus on ourselves and we trust that everybody else is is, is doing what they need to do I'm not talking about criminals here, but I'm, I'm talking about criminal action. Even the criminal action, it is said that uh, God loves the sinner. He does not love the sin, of course. He does not like that because he knows that he has to pay for it afterwards. But um, but, uh, but but he loves all people. And, and so to recognize the love of God in people that may be lost and confused as well will assist them. Um, and so I just thought I, I come... Um, 
very soon I'm going to upgrade all my presentation. And it's like it's going to be really nice because uh, we only. It's more about the content than than I was criticized because I have this dental problem. It's like I would say, well, I can't stop doing video until I solved it, and then I had this wave in the French video waves of support to say, no, please don't stop. We don't care about that. But in, but it's it's still important presentation. We live in a world that is very superficial. That's based on the surface. So presentation. I remember an anecdote. My master guy told me long ago because I when I was painting sometimes I we used to go out to nightclubs and so on with clothes full of paint. They were kind of pretty but a bit way said it's it's acceptable to be the eccentric that you are but uh, but um, we want you to take care of of your presentation, like, you know, I'm going, to soon, I'm going to return to wearing a suit and tie, which is very comfortable for me, because in the art world, people are very, I uh, said, if you if you were selling phones, it wouldn't matter, but it's, when you work in the arts, people are very, uh, very, very visual, and, and so to be very detail-oriented, and he said something that I will always remember, it's like, you only have one chance to make a first impression, so presentation is important, however, it's not really what counts, and I it was just, uh, I, I just took this comment and I was saying that because I, I removed caffeine from my system yesterday and the first comment I see was that. And so it's like, and when, when you remove something that's like, make you come out of your comfort zone, it's like my ego, it's like my body, it's like I took away my caffeine, it's like uh, I'm going to, I'm going to fight. And, and so, but... Um, but it is important for me to, to to do what I can to remove the caffeine from my body, and so so to accept the uncomfort for a few days sometimes. Uh, but but it is for the highest good. Uh, follow your follow your joy, follow your happiness. Be ready for for miracles and changes. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I thank you very much for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And so I'm going to finish with a song. It's a song that somebody who's made some mistakes and, and he wants to be forgiven and he hopes it will be understood. It's called "Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood." Baby, do you understand me now? Sometimes I feel a little mad. Well, you know, no one alive can always be an angel. When things go wrong, you've seen some bad. I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Oh, Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. If I seem edgy, I want you to know that I never meant to take it out on you. Life has its problems, and I've got my share. And that's one thing I never meant to do, cause I love you. Baby, don't you know I'm just human? And I have thoughts like any other man. Sometimes I find myself alone and regretting some foolish things, some foolish things I've done. But I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. If I seem edgy, I want you to know that I never meant to take it out on you. Life has its problems, and I've got my share. And that's one thing I never meant to do, cause I love you. Baby, don't you know I'm just human? And I have thoughts like any other man. And sometimes I find myself alone and regretting some foolish thing, some foolish thing I've done. But I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. I am just a soul whose intentions are good. Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. Well, I, I just wanted, I wanted to finish uh, with a thought is that we have to continue to cultivate the, the harmony within all our chakras. And when the, the fifth chakra is the throat chakra, it, 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 it manages all of that comes into our body and it manages all of our communication. So it is very important chakra. It is the chakra that, um, that is very connected to our, to our God self. It's, it's ruled by the planet Chiron. Chiron is my main planet. 
is, is, a, is a force, it's a spiritual force that guides my life. It's a very fast moving energy planet. And, um, and I want, so, so it's like this planet rules that chakra. It is the wounded healer huh, to make the sacrifice of accepting to the wound in order to heal it. And, and so, but it is important to, to, to try to see if we can utilize this chakra with our communication with only love and only gratitude. Not to speak of anything, but slowly but surely to, to watch to to talk about only love and gratitude and that really will set up our life which make a lot of change as we become constant with the the, the communication of love and gratitude as, as much as possible well thank you very much i wish you a wonderful day i hope this was interesting for you and then i'll talk to you later Salad.